morning everybody, it is the 19th, no, it's half past 11 on the 19th of April, we are heading off for two nights, we are doing our third county in 2022, 17 to go after this one, and mummy at the back there is just catching some Z's because she's just finished a night shift, so not too much noise on the way to the campsite, we're heading to Brighton and we shall probably see you when we get there. So let's go for a drive. Da, da, da. And the journey east to Brighton from the New Forest involves really just two main roads, the M27 and the A27. The expected journey time is around two hours and it's about 85 miles. Welcome to Brighton, this is number three of our 20 and 22 challenge. We're all set up here. We're about, I think, less than a mile from the from the sea, and we're gonna take the bikes out in a minute and do a little mild explore, maybe down to the sea front and back. We're gonna do a proper exploring tomorrow. So first impressions of the campsite, it's pretty good. Nice big spacious pictures as you'd expect with a caravan and motel club site. I think we might have a new neighbour. Um, got the awning this time because we're here for two nights, and it's always handy to have the extra space. And I think we're ready to go for a ride so let's let's show you the immediate vicinity of the Brighton Caravan and Camping no Caravan and Motorhome Club site campsite and what's nearby so here we are at Brighton Marina this is about a 30 minute walk from the campsite the marina here in Brighton is apparently the UK's largest man-made and built in the 1970s, there are plenty of things to do. We have cycled about 10 minutes and we are now at the start of Brighton Marina. We're having a quick drink at the, the Master Mariners, really quiet spot today. I can imagine on a weekend it would be absolutely heaving let me just turn the camera around and show you the other side so this is like i say the master mariners behind me there's other places here as well we're going to go and explore um, so we've come from the campsite to here 10 minutes and it's easy enough to walk or cycle 10 minutes on the bikes it's about a mile i think so half an hour walk maybe um, really easy you know the kids could do it if they're competent on a bike you can stay off the roads a cycle path so definitely worth a, a stop we're now going to head along that path there to the other side of this building to another bit of the marina and we're going to check that out and we shall see what's the other side as well and then we're going to head back to the van because we are cooking pizzas tonight which should be interesting so but first more marina let's have a look at that I'm thinking we should give these lovebirds some privacy. And that path over there didn't quite go where we expected it to, so we are going to explore that tomorrow. Okay, so we have just cycled to the main part of the marina and it is oh, 
boats everywhere as you'd expect and just along here it looks like there's some eateries and drinks and bars and restaurants that we are gonna walk past in a minute so you can very easily spend a few hours here wandering around having something to eat drinking and just especially on a day like today when the sun is shining it's beautiful Okay, everybody we have made it back to the campsite after a strenuous uphill cycle from the marina the cycle there was great but the cycle back was <laughs> beeping awful i think is what suzanne meant to say but we did get a big plastic beer tanker and a big plastic wine glass we need so to work them up with we just need to get something in them but what we're doing tonight for the first time ever I've we're going to film a bit of it but we're going to do a proper video once we know what we're doing is we're making pizza on a pizza stone so let me show you very quickly the setup that we've got. Gas bottle, the Kadak Safari Chef 2 with a pizza stone. We are going to make the pizza up and we then put it on the stone when it's hot, preheated, put a lid on it and it cooks for about 10 minutes and at the end of it we should have a beautiful pizza. So you'll see us, we're not going to, we're not going to feel much of it, like I say, once we know what we're doing we'll do a proper video but we will show you bits as we go and the end result and us going down McDonald's. You have the same with Max, so. Yeah, and then you put the lid over it. Pizza goes on apparently for about eight to ten minutes after it has after it has been warmed up for about three minutes, then we leave it for eight to ten minutes, so fingers crossed it will work and we'll show you the end result in eight or ten minutes hopefully um yep. okay. it's gone a bit coloured underneath but that's good old barbecue cooking max why is it crispy like that not enough flour doesn't taste bad though does it mm -mm. does it taste bad so Max, sorry, do that again Marlin. What have give us your verdict on the pizza? What's that? Nice. Mm. Is it burnt though? Does it taste burnt? Yeah. A bit. Okay, mm. what's the first one we've done? We didn't put I don't even put enough flour on because it says you're supposed to use a flour to stop it burning, so. Okay, so the first pizza wasn't that great. I think that it was one of three things. It was on for too long. Too much flour or not enough flour because you're supposed to put flour on the stone. It says to stop it sticking and burning, but it really did burn and we had to throw it away. Um, but we did another one, slight more flour, less time. Still burnt, but it wasn't quite as. A bit, a bit bright. Wasn't quite as. Um, wasn't quite as burnt, and Max ate it and he's happy. So we're now doing the second one, which is really the third one, but the first one was rubbish. And then we're going to try and do an egg on one and we may fry that off first before we pop it on the pizza but so far not bad considering it's in our first time so it's a learning experience it's a bit different to what we normally have we normally go to the pub when we're camping <laughs> we do maybe we should stick to the pub and let the professionals do it we normally go to the pub when we're camping <laughs> or what else we do, do what we, we know have? yeah burgers we normally we do have we know. Burgers. burgers or pasta Pasta. Tomorrow night we're having pasta, but we're cooking it on the Kadak in Our my new Kadak. One pot. Yeah. yeah. No, breakfast is on the new Kadak. Oh, breakfast is on the new Kadak, okay. And so, then... second pizza's going now, and fingers crossed, I'm not burning it when I'm talking to you, which I probably am, so I better go. 
Okay, let's see. It's pretty good. Is it? It's really good. Let me try. Thanks, you want to try a bit more of Daddy's pizza because it's Daddy's pizza is better. Um, yeah. Mmm. That's so much better. Try, Max. It's still burned, but you can still taste charcoal y, but. Yeah! Amazing. Amazing. It's alright. Mm. Right, now everyone's eating my. Eating my. Eating? Eating? Eaten my pizza, I will try and have the rest of it in peace. Hmm? I think I need a pizza slice. Verdict? It's good. It's a bit burnt. Tiny, tiny little bit burnt. But not as much as the first one. So we need to find out what are we doing wrong. See, that's not too bad. Whether we just need to cake it in more flour. Okay. Mm. It's good then. With the egg. Thumbs up. Mm. Nice. Whether, I think, personally, I, now I'm no chef, but I think, personally, you shouldn't be cooking four pizzas, one after the other, because it's just going to keep getting hot and the flour is just going to start burning, which mm -hmm. will then cause... It's burnt flour. So yeah. I think it should be just one pizza, maybe, at, like one pizza and that's it. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Uh, who knows? I think tomorrow's night's dinner will be better. And again, we can have garlic bread with that. That garlic bread was nice actually in the rest of the It's good. There's enough piece in there. Do you no. want to go and have it? No, no, it's safe tomorrow. Well, no, right. no, no. It's going to be cold yeah. tomorrow. There's enough oh, piece another piece in there. Thing. Okay, yeah. well, thumbs up. So, battery light is flashing. I think we're about to lose power. So. that is it for tea time uh, pizza was a success eventually wow. eventually it was a success yeah. after the first one so stay tuned and still to come we make not just one but two silly mistakes we explore more of the south coast area near Brighton and we check out the famous Palace Pier we cycle east for ice cream and we cook another amazing dinner back at the van all that and lots more in the next episode so until then thank you for watching and we'll see you next time